This is the auto slide RFID sensor set. So right to your left is the RFID sensor and to the right are two smart tags. Each and every kit comes with a sensor and two tags. If you'd like more, you'd have to go on our website under the accessory tabs and order more if you'd like. Uh, please note that to the left, these two tags are the regular smart pendants. So you can tell they are smart pendants because in the center they have a button. Uh, we have another brand or type of smart tag and they're called the canine tags. And these tags are different because they don't have a button in the center. The reasoning for that is these tags are more waterproof. So if you live in rainy areas or it snows and there's just generally liquid anywhere, um, you will probably want these tags instead. And rather than a button, they have a hole in the center with a smaller button that is waterproof. Programming that is rather simple and I'll cover that later. But right now we'll focus on programming just the regular smart pendants. So. Uh, before you even open up your RFID sensor set, I want you to make sure that your auto slide has been programmed properly. So you've opened it up and now it's working in working order with a push button. So I'm going to show our display we have here. Uh, right here, this uh, unit, which is upside down because that's how our test rig is set up. It's easier on our end to test out units. Um, this has been programmed already. I've already programmed it. I'm going to show that I programmed it, programmed it using one of our push buttons, which I paired. So as you can see, this is in working order. And once this test rig goes back into the closed pos position, so this is the closed position, this is the open position, I'm going to show you the very first step to program your RFID sensors. So the first step is you need to program pet mode for your RFID sensor. And in order to do that, you need to go to dip switch three underneath your motherboard. So please notice that there is a number three here near this white switch. So what you're gonna do is you're going to flip the switch on and then off. And that'll start having your door move. So you're gonna let the door move and if this is for pets, uh, all you need, and you don't want your door to open all the way, uh, you just need to go up to the door as it's closing and hold it and stop it. It's going to jerk back a little bit and then it's going to start changing positions. This is completely normal. Then you're going to allow the door to close and from there it's going to stop. And I'll continue once it stops. So it's stopped. So now what you're going to do is now that it's no, it knows pet mode and the mode is now on the yellow paw print here. Um, you're going to get your RFID sensor which I've already opened one up. Um, you just need to open up the casing. There's a screw on the top near where this LED light is. You just need to unscrew it, pop the top off, and this is what it should look like now. There are two holes for screws to attach to the wall. We Velcroed ours on, but you, I prefer screws if you want it solid. And there's also a hole here. Uh, it's a little difficult to see, but there is a small gold button at the bottom of the hole. That is for programming your tags. Um, so, first, uh, take off the casing, plug it in to the um, sensor first, don't plug it into the unit yet. Stick it on the wall for convenience, or if you'd like, you can stick it on the wall last. But um, grab the cable, ours is plugged in already and we have it threaded through the display rack here. We're going to grab the other end and stick it into pet sensor. It's upside down here, but you can see. Please note, do not plug it into the sensor, which in your case would be closest to the floor. You want to do it second from the bottom, which is directly in the way of pet sensor. Uh, you want to plug it into this port, and if you want to do it in pet mode. So, I plugged it in, and now the RFID sensor is on. It's got power, and you know it's got power because it's got a blue LED light on now. So, what we're going to do now is, um, with the tags, uh, sorry, actually, what we're gonna do now is we're going to grab a small device, anything like our auto side um, screwdrivers that come with every kit, a needle, or even a paper clip that you open up. Really anything small enough that'll fit in the hole in the center of the RFID sensor will work. But what we're, what we're gonna do is we're going to get, get the device, stick it into the hole, and touch the gold button at the very bottom of it. I'm not gonna do it just yet, but once we do that, the blue light is gonna turn into a purple light. And that purple light is pretty much giving you the okay is to say, hey, I'm ready to start getting information, information such as your tags. So 
when you when it's in purple mode, you're going to grab the tags and click them one at a time, not at the same time. That confuses the sensor. Uh, one at a time, and in that duration, uh, the tags will learn. Then once you're done learning the tags, um, you leave the sensor alone, and it's going to turn from purple back to and, and into red. If it's uh, if the tags are in distance, um, please note. So if your tag isn't close, like if you're just doing this yourself, and the tag's like right here, let's say, it's going to be picked up by the sensor. So if it's red, that means your tags are in range. If it's blue, it means your tags are far away, and um, it's you can use like a second hand to help you out. I usually find it easier if I have a second hand. Um, so. I'm going to start programming the RFID sensor and then I'm going to go over to the tags I have on the table, the black ones that I showed you earlier, and I'm going to program them in. So I'm going to click the button. It's blue right now, but in a few seconds, purple. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to the desk, grabbing the two buttons, click one, click two, and there we go. So I'm going to move away from the sensor now, or sorry, the unit now. And so the tags are now away from, or out of range. I'm going to test one tag now to see if it works. And if it works, it should trigger. There we go. And it's going to open to the um, pet map programmed distance. I'm going to test the other one just to be sure. And there we go. Both tags are in working order, and that is how to program the outside RFID sensor sets, also known as smart tag sets.